What's going on everyone? This is Sean from Gen4 Technology and today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how you can add IP cameras to your X-Series XVR or NVR. Um, in this video we'll go over three different brands. We'll go over the X-Series brand itself, uh, Flux, and Uniview IP cameras. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to start off with X-Series cameras. And to add a camera, there's multiple ways you can do it, but in this case, we're going to go to the main menu. So we're going to go down to this bottom left corner, go to setup. We're going to go to channel. And this MVR is a PoE MVR. You may have a PoE MVR or you have an XVR. If you do have a PoE MVR, um, note any of the PoE channels. So if you have like, for example, an eight channel MVR with PoE, any of those channels are going to be pre-added. If you want to modify those to add cameras that are connected over the network and not direct, all you're going to do is you're going to hit edit. You're going to change the switch mode to manual and hit OK. This will change this row to non PoE and allow you to hit this plus sign here to add a camera to it. So we're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to do a search and we're going to find our X series IP camera. For my case, I have a bunch of different cameras over this network. I know my camera is ending in .201, so I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to input the password if it's not the default password for the camera. So if you set up a specific password, update this password field. Hit add. You'll see it will fill in all the corresponding information. And once online, this state here will turn green. Next, we'll go ahead and run down how to add third party cameras. Um, the biggest trait needed is that they're ONVIF, right? Now, ONVIF doesn't guarantee compatibility or integration capability, but it gives a very high capability that your camera will work with the X series NVR or XVR. Um, so, to add a third party camera, all we're going to do is hit add here. We're going to go to our Flux camera. We're going to select it. We're going to fill in the password. And as you can see, it, it autofills everything else. So all of this should be good. We're going to type in our password real quick. And again, this is going to be the same for any third party camera Flux, Uniview, Dawa, Hike Vision, um, a Vigilon, any, anything out there that's on with compliant. This will be the steps in adding it. The only additional steps you may need to go through would be on the camera itself. Sometimes there's some settings on certain cameras that need to be set, disabled, enabled to allow them to work with other brands. But for flux situation, that's not the case. So we're going to hit add. You see it will fill in all the information and then once connected, the status will turn green. Lastly, we'll go ahead and run through how to add a Uniview camera to the system just to show the ease of doing so. Uh, again, this should be in most situations, but in some you may have to adjust some settings in the camera. It's just dependent on model and if anything has been changed. But we're going to go ahead and hit add. Let's scroll down to our Uniview camera, select it, fill in our password. And Uniview's default password is one through six. So I'm going to type that in real quick. Hit add. And we're going to wait for the status to turn green. And there we go. That wraps up this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for future content, and have a nice rest of your day.